Welcome to Upholding the Code and Standards, Settlements, Adjudication Process, and Motions. If Enforcement Council determines its investigation cannot be resolved with a letter of caution or closure letter, the matter will eventually be brought before CFP Board's Disciplinary and Ethics Commission, or the DEC. The DEC is comprised of at least 12 volunteer CFP professionals and public members from across the country and from different backgrounds. The DEC reviews and acts on matters brought by CFP Board's Enforcement Council. To resolve these matters, DEC members follow CFP Board's procedural rules. Part of their role is to hear your story and determine how to address what really happened. Because DEC members are volunteers, the DEC is assisted by its own council known as DEC Council. DEC Council works for CFP Board, but does not serve the same role as Enforcement Council. DEC Council maintains an ethical wall between itself and Enforcement Council, and is entirely neutral throughout the process. While Enforcement Council investigates potential violations and sometimes prosecutes these allegations before the DEC, DEC Council provides legal support so the DEC can concentrate on resolving allegations. For example, DEC Council will decide evidentiary and procedural motions and facilitate hearings. But DEC Council will not decide the outcome of any case that comes before the DEC. Only the DEC may issue orders that resolve certain cases. If your case proceeds to a hearing, it may be held virtually. If so, DEC Council will be presented with a different virtual title and background than that of Enforcement Council. But it's important to remember that neither DEC Council nor Enforcement Council serves as your lawyer. A matter will come before the DEC either through a proposed statement or a complaint. Once you've agreed to a settlement offer, you and Enforcement Council will file a Notice of Settlement Offer and the proposed Consent Order with the DEC. And each side may submit settlement memos in support of the proposed settlement. A settlement review panel comprised of at least two DEC members and a third volunteer will review the proposed settlement. The settlement review panel will hold a hearing if the DEC or either party requests a hearing. DEC Council will assemble a DEC book that includes relevant documents you can review for the hearing. After considering whether the proposed consent order's terms are clear, reasonable, and serve the public interest, the Settlement Review Panel will make a recommendation to the DEC. If the parties do not settle the matter or the DEC rejects the settlement offer, Enforcement Council may move forward with a complaint. A complaint includes numbered paragraphs setting forth the grounds for sanction, including a description of the conduct and a statement of the alleged violations. If Enforcement Council files a complaint, DEC Council will follow up with a scheduling order with case deadlines and upcoming events. Within 30 days of the complaint's delivery, you must respond by filing an answer with responsive numbered paragraphs, admitting or denying each of the complaint's paragraphs, or explaining your lack of knowledge. In addition to identifying your counsel, your answer must also include three other things a statement containing any defenses, explanations, or mitigating circumstances, a request for the time you'll need to present a defense, and a statement that you've supplemented any information request from the underlying investigation. At some point, you may want to submit a motion to resolve an issue that could affect the larger case. For example, you may want to exclude evidence or have it included at a hearing. DEC Council decides these motions. If your matter does move toward a hearing, you'll be able to designate the documents and witnesses you'd like to have at that hearing, and submit a written statement addressing any relevant issue. It's important to submit your proposed documents and witnesses at least 60 days before the hearing, or as DEC Council otherwise specifies, because DEC Council is authorized to exclude any evidence that is filed late. You and Enforcement Council may also submit written stipulations of fact that you both agree are true so that you won't have to spend valuable hearing time presenting those issues to the hearing panel. These documents will be included in the deck book. 
You can learn more about these topics in the Handbook for Respondents and the Procedural Rules, available on our website.